OK, so for this next part, we've got to draw the graph y equals 4e to the 4x and state where it crosses the y-axis. Well, for something like this, it's built up from the basic graph of f of x equals e to the x. So I'm just going to draw some axes, OK? We'll have something like this. And what does the graph of, say, f of x equaling e to the power x look like? Well, it's a graph that you should know. It doesn't touch the x-axis, but it approaches it. The x-axis is an asymptote, as we say. Crosses the y-axis at 1, and then goes up something like this. OK? So that point would be 1. And then, to draw the graph of e to the 4x, OK, let's just do this in green. If I had f of 4x, because that's what I'm doing, I'm replacing any x in the original equation with a 4x. So we get e to the power 4x. What does this do to any graph? Well, it's a stretch parallel to the x-axis, scale factor a quarter. So points like this are going to be a quarter of the way across from the y-axis to what they are at the moment. So that'd be halfway, quarter of the way would be somewhere like that points on the y-axis would stay invariant. So this graph is going to come down like this, okay, through the one there, and then on this stretch, points like this are going to appear somewhere here. And so this is going to be bunched up like this below here, and then you're going to get it going something like that. Now, we multiply by a 4. So we're looking at the graph now of 4 times the f of 4x, okay, which gives us 4e to the 4x. And what does a 4 outside a function do? Well, it stretches its scale factor 4 parallel to the y-axis. So a point like this one here, for instance, will be 4 times higher, way off the video, okay? Let's take a point, something like this one. This would be up here somewhere. Where it crosses the y-axis, that would be 4 times higher at the point 4. OK? 1, 2, 3, 4. Just say about there-ish. OK? Points like these will be raised by a factor of 4. But essentially, at the end of the day, what's happening is you're getting a graph really much the same kind of shape, going up like this, through there, and then shooting off up like so, OK? So there's your kind of sketch, OK? Where does it cross the y-axis at 4? Even if you didn't know this, you can always say when x is 0. When x is 0, you've got e to the power 0, which is 1. 4 times 1 is 1, so crosses the y-axis there at the 4. All right. I suppose, though, if I was doing this and I wasn't breaking it down in these stages, my final answer, though, would most probably be a sketch graph, something like this, OK? I'd just have my x-axis, y-axis, and essentially it's got this kind of shape coming up through here and zooming off up like that. And I'd just mark that on as a 4, all right? And that would be my graph. But that's the thinking behind it. All right.